what not to do in world of tanks welcome everyone to what not to do in world of tanks um my goal of these videos is not to show anyone that's bad that's why you're not going to see any player names except for in chat but uh my goal is to help you Realize that you're putting yourself in a bad position and hopefully how to get out of it again. I'm no expert. I'm no pro. I Just know what works for me and When I see stuff that doesn't help I feel like I need to explain but people don't receive that information Very well, so hopefully in this video you can watch it and just avoid the situation altogether now I'm in a platoon with my buddy We're in our Sioux 122 44s and we're over here. What's this map? Westfield. That's all right. And we're in a tier eight top match. And as TDs, we're gonna go over here in the bushes. But this IS over here got spotted. We're unable to hit him, unfortunately. Anyway, as you can see, we got a few people going to the town. They got a few people going to the town. That seems okay. But what's the real issue is? This IS-3 over here. He has decided to come over here and pitch up a tent for some reason. Granted, he is spotting for us, but as an IS-3, you don't want to just do spotting. You're not a, a lighter and medium. You have a lot of armor. And unless, we're, unless people know where to shoot you, more than likely they're going to shoot you on that nice angle armor or that turret. And you're going to bounce a lot of shots. And plus you have a big gun. But on the back of this hill right here, you can't use that big gun because your depression on it is really bad. So he really thrives on flat fields and people trying to come over and poke at him over a hill. But this isn't helping. We're unable to do anything. We're just trying to shoot them, but there's hills in the way, and we're just shooting at little tiny parts of their turret. But we're trying. And you can see now, the town is getting completely overrun. Like, it's fucked. Um, we have an IS-6 left. The 4502A is dead. The T-20 is about dead. And they're coming looking for us. This IS-3 still had relatively good health. He's picking shots now. Well, we're all picking shots over here. That's the immediate threat. Um, over here, they're not really pushing too hard. They're just kind of being all lazy about it. Don't know exactly what to do, which is for our benefit. The Tiger one decides to push up a bit, but it's for our benefit. It works out for us a little bit. The problem is, we're kind of stuck back here. Not much we can do. We're just trying to shoot them, trying to keep them at bay. But their whole team is, knows right where we are, and they're coming for us. That IS-3 is refusing to do anything other than try to snipe, which is, which can be okay in the right type of match. In this match, he is the big dog. He has all the armor, and he decided not to use it. Now, this is where the IS-3 makes its mistake. He has decided that he can't pen this Tiger P because he doesn't know where to shoot it, or the KV-3. So he has decided to go out on his lonesome and 1v2 him. which doesn't help. Now, he doesn't know where to shoot this Tiger P, granted, so he's gonna come over here and try to shoot him in the butt, which is pretty sound tactic, usually, if it's 1v1. The problem that, with that, though, is he has, oh, let me get up. <laughs> he has put a wall between them and me, so I am, I am unable to help them at all. 
I can't. As you can see, I'm over there in the bush trying to drive and get a shot. I have no shot. So he basically gave himself up 2v1 easily. And I finally had to move o over in the open to get the shot off that Tiger P. Shot him in the back of the turret. So. He put himself in a bad position to begin with. And then he put himself in even a worse position to end with. So. If you can avoid that, you'll be doing okay. Oh, hope to see you next time.